we are once again back for another stellar week of topics in this great podcast we have ahead of us. It's true. We're going to talk about some Secret War stuff. We're going to talk a little about Red Hulk, Thor 4, <laughs> X-Men, <laughs> uh, the MCU, the Russo brothers. We're, we're going to cover it all here. It's going to be good. There's tons of topics. But of course, before we get there, we got to do a little intro. So I am, as always, your host, Armin. I did make a video for members this week. You guys can check it out where I talk about Batman Arkham Shadow Box or Shadowland or whatever oh, that new game is. I, I forgot. The VR, VR one. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I made because a video that's what on people that. people want, right, is a VR game. Exactly well, what I went well, into. They, it's, uh, they needed to tag on the um, Arkham name to get people to mistakenly buy it. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And... Okay, idiotic to say the least but hey that's been rock steady since uh arkham city so what uh, is what, it what, you, you know, play as batman or you get your crap beat out of you by batman i don't know i, I think no. it's a little both <laughs> oh. your rat cat i mean rat catchers in there so that's gonna sell by itself oh wow what a waste <laughs> of rat catcher god damn yeah all the people who find that they have a fear a uh, phobia of rats are gonna like it too <laughs> yep <laughs> Well, I'd love Disney to have that little um, that weird hexagon map thing they've got mm. coming out, and just watching mm. people with fear of rats on that. <laughs> well, that's like I was about to say. Like, well, you look at this game, and you're just kind of like, nobody asked for this. Nobody asked for it to be a Meta Quest Three exclusive. Oh, nice. That makes like, it even better. Meta yeah, Quest Three. Wow. Uh, how do you limit? Every amount of money and resources they poured into this will not be recouped. So it's just a, a dead end game from dumb. At people. least it wasn't the Apple AR thing, right? No. Oh, <laughs> all three people that brought that will be uh, very it, upset if it was. It's funny because the only people that ever talked about it in the arc, it's actually it's good worth the investment are the people that got it gifted by Apple to talk about it on their tech channels. No, oh. you know, so yeah, if you bought that, you were a sucker, but. You know, um, there you like go. Most Apple customers. No. Oh, are years behind. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but the camera. Uh, uh, yep. Does your well, battery last though? Uh, I was gonna say, well, if you really think about it, they got all sorts of things going on in the tech world, and uh, you know who else has got all sorts of things going on after uh, what probably might be a decade of people telling you to do it, Mitch. You started a YouTube <laughs> channel, so progress i mean it's, it's been longer than that telling myself to do it um but yeah the the mit 692 channel is officially it's officially a go it's yeah go check it out yeah it's uh it, it is in his link tree i did post it on the it community is, yeah. tab yeah. but that thing is so broken sometimes people don't see things that post on there sometimes they do who knows uh check the link tree down below guys and you can uh follow mitch and also yeah. you can find tristan as well uh, yeah, um, just the same thing. I'm um, going to have more videos coming out eventually. Because <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's been a while, but yeah, I'm slowly getting back into it. Uh, not much else, but um, I did see rumors uh, for anyone who uh, likes or doesn't like it that uh, Microsoft with Xbox is, might be going with a um, just a website. Thingy. Just basically, they're just going to copy um, Steam at this point. If rumors are going to be true, where I mean, they're gonna... selling hardware, so yeah, yeah that's, well. that's what it is. Hardware is going to keep going down. They're just going to sell software instead. Yeah, I mean, uh, last time I saw Xbox, it had collapsed in Europe. So, well, did you guys just see the reports? They're thirty. Is it thirty-one percent down from last year? And last year was thirty-two percent down from their first year for Xbox. I was gonna say so they've, they've been thirty percent down year and year. Which, years, it like, is last four years. Which, it's crazy. which is which is weird because the, the, they had a new report that came out saying that they're gonna try and extend their reach in Europe with no! their, <laughs> with another uh, ad campaign. So yeah, <laughs> how do you? How are they so stupid? I say we're, we're too Sony pilled in Europe. You ain't gonna make that change. No. <laughs> yeah, it's, my God, because it, it, it is weird because they're like trying to um, say, oh, "Look, we have native um, dubs for video games." Now that they're trying to do that, and then like with the report in the comments that I was reading, they're saying, "Yeah, Sony's been doing that since like 2016." 
to get a more a better reach. So yeah, I don't know what they're gonna do. They will make another mini fridge that oh. has a sticker on it of Fallout seventy six. Oh, yeah, because oh, they oh, just Tom. said like the, <laughs> what Bethesda didn't expect the Fallout series to do good, so that's why they're taking another eight years to put out the next Fallout. No, they, they were well, what Tom said is that they're gonna try and, and push out another one as fast as they can. And, yeah, and like, yeah, now they've yeah, mastered the art of quality in their games, and people oh. expect quality from Bethesda. Oh, oh, yeah, well. Bethesda gonna Bethesda, right? And it's 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 all about the charm, though. It's all about the charm, as they say. So, I suppose we're gonna end up seeing what happens here because there's all sorts of um stuff happening in the gaming world, entertainment world as a whole is sort of seeing a shift, I would say. But we'll see where it ends up and where it goes from here. So, uh, I suppose we're gonna get into the show proper. So let's just kick it off with our first topic. This last week, Chris Hemsworth did a interview. And he was talking about his career, of course, you know, the thing that made his career, which is Thor. And just reflecting on it, he says he pulled a George Excuse Lucas. Hollyoaks made that man's career. Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Excuse me. Not not that little Thor in the film no, franchise. No. More people friends. watched Hollyoaks than they did Thor. Right. I, I, I'll believe it. I'll go with that. There, but... I'll go with that. But um so he pulled a good old George Lucas. We might have gone a little too far in a few places, but it's stylistically made that way. So yeah, he, man's got lost in the sauce. Uh, uh, he um he doesn't approve of the direction they went with Thor. Four says that Thor felt like a parody of the character he set out to play. Which I mean, I mean, he takes full blame for that, right? Saying that he just he just got lost in the wackiness of it all. And yeah, kind of forgot what. Thor is and was. Yeah, and again, it's not to say that like it's the worst thing ever, as people have made it out to be. Uh, it's not my like favorite. <laughs> oh, yes, that's what I was leading to. It's not my favorite, and I, I, it's actually like my least favorite MCU project right next to Secret Invasion, but... Oh, that's just too harsh. That's mean. That's... Yeah, but for films, I'm just like, I, I don't care for the this The Incredible one. Hulk's worse. I'm sorry. I'm oh, come say. on. No, it's, it's worse. He's no. Like, the Dark Better... World's worse as well. Uh, yeah, like... I don't know. Dark World has something yeah. redeeming in it. For all the spots in Love and Thunder, at least you can have some fun with it. The Dark yeah. World is just a boring slog for yeah. two hours. Yeah. What I feel is that Love and Thunder is, it, it's, you know, it's a little too whimsical for a lot of people's taste, which is fine. Everyone has their has their own opinion. And it needs to find that balance between, you know, being serious and having fun with it. And, uh-huh. I, can, and I can understand that people didn't vibe with Love and Thunder because they see it, saw it as two vibes or just going going with the flow, which I completely understand because for me it was a roller coaster where you know this is corny and you know, it rolls right back to that and this is funny and then yeah. it's corny and then it's funny again and then I'm okay with it. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. the funny parts of the goats. <laughs> I'm defending Jared for once. I'm taking his side. Right. The goats are funny. Right. I just, I, I just died a little because <laughs> of the goats. Rem- rem- being reminded that those goats exist has actually hurt me in this instance. That's it. I mean, every time I hear Taylor Swift, I get reminded that goat exists. So, right. um, I'm lucky that I don't ever hear Taylor Swift. So. Yeah, I mean, it, it comes up. Didn't I, mean, it? I mean, the rock, the rock showed up in a movie that made money. No, what in two thousand two? I was gonna say, what movie we're we talking about? Oh, <laughs> uh, I know it wasn't Red Notice or no, it was a, uh, it was that little funny thing with Love and Thunder with that, with um, the rock dude and the other and the other oh, dude. Cork. I thought you meant Dwayne yeah. Johnson. Oh uh, no, that was, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I was, I was like, gonna say because uh, don't Jesus. lie, because we know that Dwayne the Rock Johnson hasn't made money, so he's got to piss in Voss bottles. <laughs> that's why to me. <laughs> no, I don't uh, get why people are outraged about it. It's like every guy is pissed in a water bottle. No, but I, I, I think it, I think the reason is is that 
he continues to do it when he doesn't have to, and he just leaves it around for the crew he's, to he's pick got, up. He's got to make up for the five to eight hours he's late, all right? Like, he hasn't got time. I was going to say, he also, he's also got to make up because once you're on that much juice and you got diuretics and everything to look shredded, you got to piss like every hour. So, yep. it's, um, mm. it's, yeah. So, I mean, man, we can ask, actually tie this back to Chris Hemsworth because he's had to do like the same thing with diuretics and sweating. And you see some of those behind the scenes videos. He's literally constantly running to the bathroom. So, <laughs> uh, well, poor guy. Poor it's guy. I know. It, it's look at how things have shaked up uh, for <laughs> things shook out. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> see, see, oh, uh, crazy. It's I mean, have crazy. we had confirmation that the rock actually shakes it out? And how uh, many times does he shake? It's all about the hierarchy of the toilet. So I don't know. Yeah, because yeah. it's every millennial knows that if you shake it once, that's fine. Shake uh -huh, it twice, uh -huh. that's okay. <laughs> shake not it three, though, not three, though. <laughs> <laughs> You're playing with yourself again. Uh, it's like Candyman. Just don't say his name that many times, <laughs> you know. No. Man, how did we get here from Chris Hemsworth slams Thor forward? To Tr Tristan Boston brought up the rock and it, it all went down. Oh yeah, oh yeah, because <laughs> Korg. Yeah, the comedy in that. Film. I forgot Korg was in that film. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, he was a face on the back of um, Tessa Thompson's head for half of it. So, I feel like you're making this up. I'm not. I've, no, I've only seen that film twice, and the second time I was much no, it, it, it higher. He, he gets a Zeus bolt in a, the the place. I can't remember what they. Oh, what was that place called? Like the uh, big library place. I don't know the it, Pantheon. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah. He, then he becomes a face, and I forgot this entire film, so I'm gonna believe yeah. everything you say right now. <laughs> I was just, this is it. Oh, uh, wow! Well, uh, the hot toy because it's an accessory for Valkyrie, so know, huh? it's, it's right there. Yeah. Well, uh, the one takeaway I had from this is, and that's just his tone, is the next Thor film will not be like the last one, and I think that's a good takeaway. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if they'll go back to Ragnarok or if they'll just completely shift it. I think they're going to do a complete tonal shift. Too yeah. serious, too wacky, too whatever the next one is. <laughs> like, what's the middle ground between Tyker and the, the previous Thors? Right. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, fair point. Fair yeah, point. That's it. James yeah. Gunn is coming back to direct once the DCU bombs confirmed. I mean, confirmed. there's no news for the DCU, so... Well, because it's in shambles. No? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that, that's it. That explains everything. So, um, fair enough. I don't know. I, I guess that's going to be all we talk about in regards to this because we got to talk more about Red Hulk. Seems to be the topic every week now because every week something else is leaking because the film should have been out literally this weekend. We would have been seeing it. So, um, or whatever the original version of the film was before the substantial delay in reshoots. Uh, we got box art packaging shot of red hulk which we've seen it for the leader we've seen it for captain america and falcon now we got it for red hulk i mean this sort of takes care of the worries that people had about what he looked like in that weird cardboard cutout we talked about last week yeah they got rid there. of the bilbo look yeah yeah they did and he he looks like to me from what that art looks like a cross between like Thor, Ragnarok, Hulk, and Incredible Hulk. Almost like you mesh yeah, the two that's, that's in the middle. I got, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's different enough from what the Hulk looks like and what he looked like before to kind of nudge it in that direction and differentiate. Okay, I didn't enough. look at it and just go, oh, that's a red Mark Ruffalo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, that's why he needs the mustache. Oh, well, yeah. Still no mustache, though. <laughs> Yeah, that'll happen in the definitely the second. You figure. watch. That's the third act thing, right? You know, people get the suit. He's he's gonna get the mustache. The angrier he gets, the more stubble oh. he gets, and the mustache mustache just oh. pops out in the third act. <laughs> he's like every cartoon taking the piss out of guys with beards. Oh, I can't. There's one cartoon where they get like angry and the beard comes out, and I can't think what it is. Mm. That's gonna bug me now. I can see it in my head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Someone's gonna know it, but it ain't me. Yeah. 
man, it's, I don't know, like, um, looking at this whole idea that they're going for with Red Hulk, I think it's pretty evident that the rumors are more than likely true that this film is leaving the Hulk on a cliffhanger and we're getting a World War Hulk or whatever they're doing with Hulk next, right? Like, oh, there's yeah. just, yeah. It, it doesn't seem like you can just toss Red Hulk into supporting stuff with a Hulk and his son and She-Hulk now. Like, there's an entire Hulk universe to explore. You know, the, the old saying is the X-Men always seem like they're in their own pocket universe. The Hulk also follows that trend to a large yeah, degree yeah. in Marvel, where stuff happens in Hulk comics that doesn't spill over to the rest of the Marvel world. It's just like, this is a Hulk situation. They take care of it over there. So I I'm cool with it. I say I'm fine with it. It's um, I can't wait to see the rap say they've been reporting this for 15 years. Uh, I need El Mayan Bay back on top of the New York <laughs> skyline. Punching Hulk gloves oh, together. I forgot about that picture. Telling Kevin Feige he <laughs> scooped him. That's... Oh. Only three people will time. get this reference, and one what of these time. is Generation West, who's right now rolling in his grave, going, "How how does anybody remember El Mayimbe on top of a building?" <laughs> He's just happy someone else remembers it apart from him. Uh, yeah, the curse, the curse. He is literally. If anyone remembers this, the Microsoft paperclip. Oh. No, if anyone mentions anything, he'll just pop up and be like, hey, were you looking for this? <laughs> Heroic Hollywood. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What was so, it before um, that? Latino Review. That's the one, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yep, yep. What, what, what a time. What a time Latino Review and Movie Pilot, the old scooper mill. I'll tell you what, the, the 2010s for comic book movies was wild. You know, what gets me, though, is I've met a couple people that used to write quote unquote for movie pilot. And they're all genuinely good, talented people that I've seen, like make videos. I'm like, wow, you guys really got stuck in that movie pilot thing that uh, you're like, yeah, it was a, it was a thing. <laughs> Everyone's got to start somewhere, right? Everyone. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was sad, but Hey, um, speaking of, of uh, El Miami being right. Let's say in the next couple of years, rumors are saying we're getting World War Hulk probably before Secret Wars. If that's the case, I say it won't be its own movie. Yeah. It'll yeah. be like Captain Marvel 3. I was going to say it's going to be Hulk and the Friends. Yeah. <laughs> Can't use Hulk in the title because Universal. <laughs> Marvel World War Battleground Hulk. Oh. <laughs> yeah, like World War Smash or something like that. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb. It's good. That's perfect. Oh, oh. That reminded me, just reminded me of was it Agents of Smash? That yeah, that I Hulk. was gonna say. Oh, Agents Jesus of Smash! I was like, no, that's too, that's tied to the Hulk. That's already where like good. it yeah. felt like the people, the guys that were doing the editing, just found out about cutaways, and that's what they kept doing. This entire, entire conversation has been a trip to 2012 rumors. What are Literally, we doing? Yeah, How? Yeah, yeah. Who? No. Literally nobody remembers Agents of Smash. How? I, I mean, know, like, Generation West, right? Uh, it'll be in the comments. I tell you, he's gonna tell us. Be like, I remember this. I'm cursed. Oh, <laughs> uh, I remember yeah, watching. You, you watch it. Will no? It won't be. Um, no, Kang Dynasty going into Secret Wars. It's going to be World War Smash. Secret Wars. The Hulks <laughs> are going to cause an incursion. You can only have one Hulk. Uh, you know what? I'd be cool with that. Route, he'd be like Universal and stuff. Uh, I'd be cool with Avengers Five being a World War Hulk multiverse thing with the rest of the Avengers. That'd be cool. Yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, I don't know what. You know, we'll see what happens soon enough. Like my whole thing is, when, <laughs> when do we pick up the pieces with Hulk and his son? World War Smash. Uh, I mean, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah. That's kind of anticlimactic. Oh, well, whenever he gets a heck, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, he didn't like the barbers on Earth, so he went back to his home world and never came back. Yeah. Do, do you guys think they do the comic book thing where his son is actually in tune with the planet and he can like use it? Final Fantasy Seven now? What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Hulk's son's Aerith. What's going on? 
Yeah, it, it's weird because if I remember in the comics, and I don't think they retconned that like if he's on Sakar, he can literally like utilize it to like boost its power into him or whatever. It, it was kind of confusing. I've just now decided this very second to let's forget they introduced his son. <laughs> I just want to get past this. And forget it. Let's, let's never talk about that moment again. Uh, I mean. We're not we have Hulk, we have Red two. Hulk, we have Abomination, we have She-Hulk. Let's just go with that. We need Atom Bomb, though. Because Rick Jones is already in the MCU. Oh, that's well. true, yeah. <laughs> that, is a, that, that just made me remind that uh, in Agents of Smash, they couldn't call him that, so they had to call him E-Bomb. Yeah. <laughs> yep. A little, little controversial there, I guess. Um, it'll, it'll be cool. Uh <laughs> What, whatever happens with this whole Hulk thing, I'm I'm optimistic Disney's going to get it right, but we just know whatever they do, people are going to be mad at it regardless. So, you know. Oh, yeah, because it, it won't be the Hulk, the, the dumb Hulk part. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. They're going to be mad that he's just not smashing constantly, which seems to yeah. be the ultimate piece of contention here. And I've already seen people say they they don't like Red Hulk because... He's supposed to be just smashing everything. And why is he like the president? I'm like, okay, you haven't read the Red Hulk comics. He's literally in control of his anger. That's not what he does. Just because I was gonna say, the whole point mean... of Red Hulk is he's Hulk, but he's not. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what? Yeah. People haven't picked up Marvel yeah. comics. That but like then evidence. that's just the normal Hulk we have now. True. True. Which is why they'll regress the Incredible Hulk, right? Ruffalo is going to regress a bit. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna happen. Yeah, it'll be like, oh, this the thing I did in Endgame wore off. Yep, exactly, exactly. Just and like it wore off our screen. <laughs> just like right. Thor between uh, Endgame and oh. Love and Thunder, his character development just regresses, and he's like, I'm angry now. Oh, I thought you were gonna say just like the belly, and I was like, no, at least you saw a montage of him training to get rid of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, he 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 did that at least. So, well, you know, there you go. Then the, the the stomach was the character development, right? And we watched it disappear. So, oh, oh, there you go, yeah. there you go. But you know what? Since we are talking about some members of the core Avengers of the next film, allegedly members of Avengers 5 and 6, some of the uh, members that are going to comprise the teams has hit the net. Again, according to rumors. And um, I'm kind of confused because previously we heard Avengers 5 is going to be smaller scale, more street level. We're not going there. And Avengers 6 would be this team of multiverse Avengers. Now we're hearing both films are going to be a mixture of everything, which maybe I, I, I don't know. Um, I mean, it well, needed to be. You can't go small and then straight into Secret Wars. Exactly. Like you have to meet somewhere in the middle. So, yeah. no, just by the nature of Secret Wars, if you're setting it up, you have to be big. Yeah. Now, even if it is a street level thing for something that's going to trigger it, guess what? Your stakes are still insanely high. It's no longer street level. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, hundred percent. It's just looking at how they're talking about it at a like base level, right? And what we're hearing, I feel like Avengers Secret Wars has to be obviously the bigger one, right? Like you can't make Avengers oh, yeah, yeah. five the smaller one. So Secret Wars has got to be this huge payoff. So yeah, that's going to include everything. Avengers five, whatever it is, I'm hoping it's semi smaller scale in the first half and then it kind of expands in the second half just so we can have it'll the be bigger... like infinity war yeah yeah that's my hope you know like no sure they went to space in infinity war and that was like a third of the movie but the rest of it is still on earth yeah it's, it'll be no different to what age of ultron is and what mm -hmm. the first avengers is right yeah there'll be the big bad there'll be an army of space dogs <laughs> Whether they're on four legs or two, it, it won't matter. Well, will we find out what the big hand coming out of the earth will be for? Or is it just going to stay there? It's just going to stay there. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to stand there till the What do you want to do? It's dead. Like, you want to like, 
What's, what's that movie? Weekend at Bernie's? Like, do you want to know? <laughs> Weekend at Bernie's is poor corpse? Like, what's, what's going on? Here's what I was hoping they would do with the hand, right? Because I think this could lead heavily into like a plot. So the hand has a name. Like, it's not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, disrespect okay. the celestial here. Like, the, the celestial that's coming halfway out of the uh, Earth's mantle and core. Okay. Here, here we go. God. Uh, is it Tiamat? It's Tiamat, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, um, and, watch, and watch the Earthlings call it Kirby. <laughs> like oh. i was hoping that they could establish that like since it's in offshore right no country claims it that some organization like a new version of hydra has moved in and essentially built water world around it and they're like defending it it's like well um they're mining it for all it's worth so I mean, maybe man, that's what cap four is about right no. i mean that would be my hope you know bring I mean, that thing free in. real estate yeah <laughs> usually yeah also like you can get you can, into it anyway. <laughs> and you can spin that into whatever happens with TMA stuck there. That could play a huge role in the next two Avengers films. So like yeah, heck that's yeah. in there. Like I think they need to tie everything around this time. Marvel TV needs to be involved. Last time we know there was Marvel Entertainment Logistics, but they can't. Oh, you that, have a version you know? of Dead Devil in the Secret Wars that's like insanely oh, yeah. empowered. It'll be yeah. like the um Oh, what's that thing where he gets like, the devil powers? Shadow Land. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. He has the horns and everything. It, it'll be crazy. Oh, you know? oh no. Uh, no. It's no. Charlie Cox like foaming at the mouth for an hour and a half on screen. It's going to be like somebody gives them a little device and they're like, if you put this on, it amplifies everything you are for 10 minutes. And it's like a super soldier injection almost. It's like, ah. That sounds like Ben 10. Uh, I don't know where I got Ben 10 from, but I was just like, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, I think that everything we're hearing about Secret Wars, even if you were to take a guess, you're probably right because no yeah. matter what, everybody's going to be in it, right? Like, everybody, oh, yeah, yeah. you'll you just literally watch Infinity War and Endgame, and you know the plot of Secret Wars, yeah, it's going to be exactly the same because guess what? Every Avengers movie is the same. They are though. Right. I know people don't like it when we say that, but they are. They're all yeah. the same. Like it's love and it's them all the but they yeah. are literally all the same. Yeah, let's not pretend they're like high cinema re you know, evolving all I mean Infinity and... War is high cinema. I'm, I will have no... no that's a funny way to say Age of Ultron, but okay. I mean Age of Ultron's a I I'm good still thing. Age of Ultron is still my favorite Avengers film, but it, yeah. Yeah. I think mine's still in game. I haven't watched all of them in years. Same, yeah, it's been a bit. Uh, during a rewatch in 2048, I'll have a definitive list. Uh, you know, when you actually live in the dystopian like five year gap. Yeah, like, exactly. Game, you kind of don't want to go back and. <laughs> watch yeah, them. yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, you know what? While we're on the end game front, I want to add an extra topic here because it kind of relates to Avengers as well. So. This past week, we're now hearing Chris Evans has signed a new contract, and he I'm will shocked. be, yeah, he will be not just Secret Wars, but also a cameo as Human Torch in Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, I saw this. I didn't read the article, and I, I looked at it, and I was like, well, which Human Torch? Oh. Like, are we sure it's going to be Chris Evans in there? Because that was my first thought, but I think for the sake of Deadpool, it's funnier if he gets Michael B. Jordan. I think so, too. And what they should do is bring Chris Evans as the android human torch from another universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that's, that okay. that's what I was thinking, too. <laughs> yeah. Like, have fun with it. People are like, oh, you're the human torch. I'm the human torch, too. But I'm an android from World War Two. See, they should have just got Paul Bettany for that. Or, oh, uh, Clark that would Greg. be good too. Yeah. Now, if yeah. you have it, it's Clark Gregg. You just establish that Coulson has just been an android for X amount of years in the MCU. Uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Not that that will happen, but that's that's what I'd have done. Uh, I can't believe the payoff to him being at L LMD took like a decade, but it happened. That was great. Yeah, it would make continuity a bit weird, right? It's like, oh, I was an android the entire time, but we made you a robot. Yeah, but I was an android. That's fine. Yeah. Anyways, Tahiti, everybody. <laughs> Chris Evans want to go. It's um, a wonderful place. So, in in regards to Chris Evans for Secret Wars, there is nobody that can tell me that it wasn't going to happen. 
Him and Robert Downey Jr. Oh, are both back. Like, just I mean, come on. I, it, if Scarlett Johansson is not in that movie as well, I'll be very surprised. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'll be very surprised. You're going to have... Obviously, the big two are going to come. There's too much talk about the pair of them coming back for it not to happen. Yeah, exactly. The fact that they've never ruled it out. Like, yeah, it's... It's obviously can happen. <laughs> also, <laughs> why wouldn't it? Yeah. I do want to point out some people are saying like, but if they bring back Iron Man and Chris Evans, Captain America, they're just variants and I won't care. That's funny because Logan, that Wolverine is a variant. The one in Deadpool and Wolverine is a variant. Everybody seems to care. Like, I mean, there's another example that's actually been out. What do we got? Gamora. Oh yeah! Oh my God! I forgot about Go- yeah. She's a variant. Gamora yeah. Gamora was literally a massive plot point of the last Avengers movie. Yeah, yeah, that's again. So why wouldn't people care? It's just like oh, I'm a slight exactly. variation. Cool, let's go. Like also, like, it'll be a point that it's not the same one. You will literally forget. But mm-hmm. no, it's, and it'll be fine. My ultimate point that stands with this is: remember when literally everybody, including us on this show, were saying. I don't know if I can get into Loki because it's not the version we saw get developed. Yeah. And now yeah, we got a exactly, far superior yeah. version. So the, the show that's unanimously agreed upon is their best show. Yep. Yep. And is, is a variant. So, yeah. you know, and it's about um, Loki very. <laughs> no. Yeah. Like the mains are okay. variant, the secondary characters are variant. Right. It's literally it's everyone wild. in that show. Yeah. It's like everyone in that show is a variant. There's not one original character in that show. And, and it's fine, you know, it works. So um, we'll see what happens with all this. I just want to kind of add that subtopic just to talk a little bit about it. Any other thoughts on Chris Evans before we move on? Just... I mean, it's cool. Mm-hmm. If he's back as the human torch and Fantastic Four, great. I'd yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. If, he, if he's something else, great. I'd love it. I just like Same. Chris cool. Exactly. I'll just like seeing him back in that role and seeing what he's doing. Yeah. So we'll talk about it when it happens. But Let's jump on to the Iron Man side of things then, because the Russo brothers recently oh, did some interviews, and they're saying they don't know how to bring Iron Man back. Well... The, the way these two have just fumbled IQ needs to be studied. <laughs> it's like Ever since Endgame came out, these two and Marcus and McFeely, admittedly Marcus and McFeely have been the smart ones and been quiet about everything, but these two have just Fumbled down the IQ chart, right? Like, there's nothing. <laughs> there's nothing stopping them. No. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, like for me, it was just like when, when they said that, and I'm like, you're in like comics. This has been done before, multiple times over. Like, I mean, like, there there is that, like the, you know, the easy way. But the fact that yeah. the, the plot point of their last two movies was Gamora, that they <laughs> decided to pick it up and they decided to bring back. Like, how do you? Not no other way to do this with Iron Man. It's right there. I got it. They are clearly boomers. Like they don't understand what they worked on. They just did it right. Like they don't. They, they didn't get it. Like I there's because like you, I'm thinking about what they said. I'm like, this doesn't. What you are saying does not make actual sense at all. Like none no. of it clicks together. So, like even from a character development standpoint, right? Like it's it doesn't matter because it's not that I'm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you do bring that Iron Man back, and even then you have <laughs> wizards and sorcerers. Yeah, it's, it's like um, unless like we can make the, kids out of thin yeah, air. Like, yeah, it's we just can like bring back Tony Stark. Yeah, it's just like unless they're specifically talking about that version of Tony Stark that they don't know how to bring back. But even then, like you have a catalog of ways to bring a person back. And that... also, even then, even if they're trying to figure out how do we bring back the same Tony Stark. Here's the thing. Spider-Man No Way Home literally just did that. They pulled them out of time, the moment of their death, and then they put them back yeah, in and yeah. they got an arc. So they literally already established how you can do it with Tony Stark. Like, yeah. And then Loki I, does the same thing right? Yeah, <laughs> from another Russo Brothers movie. Yes. Um, I, and I, even then, the Russo Brothers... Uh, Endgame. You just do AI Tony Stark. Yes. Exactly. Like uh, this man had how many AIs in Age of Ultron? Oh, you Ultimate? want to go with like, AI time. and all that? Like, of course he's gonna back his mind up. Like, well, come on now. <laughs> I 
it's not difficult. Are, uh, is there some good ways gonna, and bad ways? Sure. Is it going to be the? One. Is it going to be the one? Um, like version of to- the AI Tony where he had his own Iron Man suit, or is he gonna be? Yeah. Uh, I mean, why would the AI heart? Tony not use an Iron Man suit, right? Yeah. Why is that not gonna be the plot of, Se- of Armor Wars? Uh-uh. Even though apparently Armor Wars is gonna <laughs> not have Rhodey's <laughs> main character, which yeah. why? <laughs> the entire like... point of Armor Wars was it was Rhodey. <laughs> yeah, but... Rhodey didn't like it, and that's why he's not getting the movie. Yeah. No, but who am I at the end of the day? Yeah, just, just have it be... <laughs> Here's how you bring Stark back. You you go right back to the original Iron Man thing where Iron Man was the bodyguard and his whole identity secret. Do that. Yeah. Just have the suit flying around. You hear Tony's voice. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's going, why is this guy speaking like Tony? Why is Iron Man suddenly back? Rhodey's not happy with it because he doesn't know, obviously. And then at the end of the... Or the second act third act in the movie it's like hey by the way i am blue robert downey jr uh, <laughs> there's your armor wars movie they go yeah. fight ezekiel stain and i'm incredibly happy with that movie uh, i thought you were gonna say like it, it turns out to be a uh, happy hogan that's in the suit yeah well i mean happy hogan happy john Favreau, in the suit. <laughs> happy's gonna have plenty of free time because john Favreau was fired from star wars don't you know Oh, for the twelfth time this week. Cool. Yes, yes. So he's gonna Maybe have the all the thirteenth will stick. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's it's all good stuff. So yeah, but like, I'm also at a loss for words. What the Russo brothers are talking about, and the fact that they're like, oh, we read Wolverine. It's our favorite character, and we keep up with all the comics. <laughs> they do. They do this with Wolverine every three years. What? So remember the last big death of Wolverine? That was not even five years ago. Yeah, yeah. Remember they, the hot claws? That was a thing. Jeff yeah, he so came back with like <laughs> metal, metal hot claws, and then they forgot about that again. I thought that was like a fever dream I had. No, like that was no, leading that was up to dream. it, where you got a new power. And he has like really like m- like molten lava metal claws that you can now burn. People oh with. God damn it! You know Insomniac is gonna hear that and just <laughs> use it. Oh. I mean, you know they're in the game. No. Yeah, oh. and then along they're the lines, just gonna reuse assets from. Wolverine Origins. Oh. So the Silver Samurai and the sword that glows. Oh. That's literally the uh the anti <laughs> suit. No, that I don't want to I don't want to see that that suit that had those you, anti You don't have a choice, Tristan. You're, you're gonna buy I don't it. Say it. It, gave, it gave him a katana and armor that's antimantium that he doesn't need. And yeah. Yeah, nice. I, okay, here's what I'm saying. And it still I won't want, be the worst thing is something I can ever do. You know? But here's what I'm now saying, because this got my mind rolling off how you do this, right? Hugh Jackman wears the Silver Samurai Wolverine suit and fights Robert Downey Jr. in Secret Wars, who's also wearing a Silver Abomination suit that's over-designed, made out of adamantium. It's impossible to over-design an Iron Man suit. Oh, just yes. wait till just wait till Insomniac gets to design a suit for EA's video game or something as a cross promotion. It's it's gonna happen. You you won't see it because I'll have raised that building to the ground. <laughs> it's gonna look like the suit that um <laughs> was on display on the poster for Iron Man at San Diego Comic Con 2005, where it was like the cartoon version tried to turn into live action, and it oh, just God, looks yeah, it just looks weird. Yeah. It was the, the old 90s cartoon, wasn't it, as well? Yep. And it was yeah, like, was... what? And that was when it was going to be a universal film, so... Whew. God, I forgot about that one. That was... Whew. Yeah, we dodged some bullets. Yep. Well, so if you're doing a Silver Iron Man, there's like three choices, right? Yes. You do the Silver Centurion. Yeah. You do uh, the Ultimate no. Suit. Uh-huh. Or the other you, Ultimate no. Suit. No, it's, it's three. no, give him the Mysterium Suit. Give him yeah. the what? The Mysterium Suit, the Mark 72. Oh, it's the new, it's the new uh, armor that Tony has. What was it? Mark I like how Tristan is now just pulling things out of air. No, it's, it's it's real. It's, it's real. I'll say, there. are you on Chat GPT for this one? No, it's <laughs> real. Oh, I'm looking at her, Mark Seventy. Oh, the one yeah. with the black on it. Yeah, I oh, said that one's fine. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Yeah. Yeah, Mysterium sounds made up, but yeah, it's real. <laughs> I was say, it's just like an anti Mysterio suit. Like, why is Iron Man fighting Mysterio? So can we never mention anti suits because it literally <laughs> makes me want to throw up? What about Adidas? The, better. 
he's really? gonna do this like imagine really? the superhero ending but he does a swab squat <laughs> oh, it's, oh. Gonna, it's gonna be great oh oh god okay yeah, this wait. is a far wrong from a. But then again, who cares what the Russos say anymore, right? They're, True. They're not so. Okay, well, let's leave the Russos to their own because our final topic is the MCU has gone MCU, guys. It's it's over. The X-Men are now going to be x women Can I just say, I love how it's the MCU. Uh-huh. And it just makes people sound like they, they have a lisp and can't say C. Well, it never sounds right. It, it only ever looks right when typed out in text. But here's it never the thing. sounds right. And this, this is fine. Here's the thing with that, right? If you say it enough, it just sounds natural now, right? Because it's literally every grifter, that's all they say. And uh, again, true. I just want to know that this comes from unsubstantiated rumors. And all we know is there's going to be an X-Men reboot. That's factual. And nothing else has ever been said. There's who does it actually come from? Um, it's just kind of floating out there. Okay. okay. It, it pretty much, if you look at from when the movie was announced, when they said, "Hey, we're working on X Men," right when they announced Fantastic Four as well. Ever since then, because Victoria Alonso, prior to the release of X Men: Dark Phoenix, said, "If I was in charge of the X Men, I would remove the men part out." Ever since mm. then, everybody's just said, "Well, it's all going to be woke and females," and I'm like. Bro, the X Men is always just about half and half. What are you talking about? I, I I love that. That's a complaint. Yet everyone only ever really gives a crap about Rogue. Yup. And Storm. Yup. No one cares about Jean. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, Scott and well, Logan. Well, it's no because it's be, it's because of what the cartoon has done to uh, Jean, where all she ever does usually is, is faint. And not do okay else. so <laughs> self-confession i might be the only gene grand th- like i'm the only gene gray fan i know in real life everybody else hates her i'm like oh, I like gene. right well, well, i need great. to make a distinction old gene gray or young teenage gene gray i uh, like old, more grown-up <laughs> gene say because well, uh hot take the the bendis teenage gene gray is a far better character than adult gene gray i haven't read too much well, of the bendis stuff because it's bendis it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little better but like she does do some like really yeah stuff. she outs bobby uh, against, <laughs> yeah like, against his yeah. will i was like what hey, bobby, do you want to do that man? you know mm. yeah no one's perfect it's common. <laughs> everyone's got to have their their weird their, <laughs> that ain't right moment but uh, she's way more interesting I just think she actually like, has a personality for changes. No. Yeah. I just, I, I don't know. This whole discourse about making her potentially the leader, which also tracks because her and Cyclops are kind of the combo leaders of the I was going to say, they've always been that way. <laughs> yeah. Like always, literally. So, yeah. Like, like, I don't really mind as long as, like, as if they. Like flesh out a lot of a lot of the t- uh, characters that they pick for the team, and going by the like all the ongoings for X Men titles, some of them don't even go by X Men. Some like X Force and all this other like adjectives that they make up yeah. for the team. So say, it's not like we have a shortage of X teams. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but I, I'm I, I'm happy. I you know all, all the characters I want on an X Men team are. Ironically, women like the, the X dudes are just boring. <laughs> so well, like, it's uh, yeah, it's because yes, most they of, are. It's because most of them um, aren't really needed on the team because, like, like the really the women are insane. Yeah, no, power. yeah <laughs> the women are overpowered, so they wouldn't really be that much useful on the team. It's like, oh, I can hit you with a lightning strike anywhere on this planet at any given point I want. Well, like, cool. if, it was, if it's current, let's well, send in Scott. Yeah, it's like it was kind of <laughs> yeah, it's like with this current storm, like she really is a whole team to herself at this point because she yeah. can do mostly anything. Yeah. So it's like, hey Gene, we have this guy here. Can you just like turn him off? <laughs> you know, just, just for a few hours. No, no one's gotta go anywhere. There's no dramatic <laughs> tension, like but just flip the switch in his brain. All right, done. Yeah, it's like this whole discourse doesn't make sense to me because i wanted to try to 
kind of gauge some of my casual friends, right? Just like people like I go to the gym with and I'll, you know, have them spot me for a set. So we'll talk between it. And I know that they're like, you know, watching like X-Men 97, for example, because we talk about it, but they're not like hardcore into the weeds and all that. Like they're not like mm -hmm. us. Right. So I was just like, Hey, we're talking about X-Men. I was like, so for the next movie, who do you want to see? And literally I was talking to three guys. They all had three specific characters all three listed storm rogue gene yeah. and then for yeah. i asked them for guys and they were like cyclops wolverine and yeah. beast i was like okay so yeah, there's only one team people give a crap about. <laughs> literally like people don't even i know Iceman. people turned on him because oh it's bobby look what they did to him they woke and uh, oh no that's bobby it's fine. oh this gay character who's been gay for 50 years is gay now <laughs> yeah but it's different gay it's it's wild, absolutely wild. Um, yeah. This is why I never understand why there's four billion mutants. You don't need that many. <laughs> like Wonder was right. You know, I, I was going to say the G word then, but this day and age isn't. <laughs> no, uh -huh. you know, you just casually remove most of the mutants. You don't need them. Let like Kamala be human again, where she rightfully should be. <laughs> I mean, you, you say that, but like, currently in comics, even Mars doesn't want them. Who? <laughs> the planet Mars. Oh, oh with the uh, um, w well, it's sentience anyway. Oh, the the mutant colonists, yeah, because yeah, yeah. He <laughs> 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 like, like, saw these basically because I was like, like just not speed reading it, just trying to see what I missed, and it's basically with one mutant. Talking to the sentient uh, intelligence of Mars is don't piss it off, or else it's not going to like you guys anymore. And no oh, well, look what happened. <laughs> I mean, one planet in the solar system is smart, at least. Man. <laughs> I don't want you muties going. <laughs> get out of here. Oh man. But, um, yeah. At the end of the day, as long as I get armor, mm -hmm. like, uh -huh. give armor a focus on the next men team for once, please. Uh yeah, honestly, that'd be kind of cool. Well, they did give her a push recently in the comics, aren't they? Like, yeah, and and uh, yeah, she's like, right. Yeah, yeah. I see how much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, that works. Yeah, her uh, and Magic are the only ones. Oh, I forget. I really want to see. Yeah. yeah, Magic needs her live action debut. When Magic is, I know what around. you're thinking about. No, yeah. Know. Everybody should be asking where is magic. That's how yeah, it works. Exactly. So, yeah. 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 I, I mean, know someone's gonna type it in the comments or tell me later on. Don't mention it, please. <laughs> you know, I think the thing I'm most excited for about the X-Men reboot is when we're gonna have all the mutants, right? Trying to peacefully protest, and then sentinels <laughs> are just gonna invade. <laughs> and be like, we're doing this for the good. What do you they're, mean? They're, we're... They're, not, they're not peaceful protests. Like, come on now. Yeah, yeah, it's it's going to be awesome. It's going to be. No, and we we changed the law afterwards to redefine. Ah, yes, yes. They're going to rewrite the Sentinel project yeah, and be exactly, like, it's yeah. actually it's yeah. good for you, everybody. It's yeah. good for you. We're, we're watching out for you, everybody. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's gonna. It's crazy. It's crazy where we're at. Um. Yeah, we we got regional oil to look look out for and. Drill for uh, trust on. me, our CEO of this company, who's totally not evil, called Mr. Essex, Mr. Sinister, is the good guy. Okay, <laughs> he's only <laughs> under 30 federal investigations, but he's a good guy. Here's Sinister. I need the MCU mutant <laughs> side of things to give Mr. Sinister a Nobel Peace Prize and play it straight, <laughs> like just play it completely straight. Like, please, <laughs> let's just let's just let's do this. I want it. And then someone bring it up right at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just found it in his lab or something. It's like, how the hell? <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Well, uh, there you go, everybody. We talked a little bit about the X-Men forcing women on us. Great white oh, no. males. Oh, no. I know. What, what a tragedy that would be. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, man, that good old like meme of vision 
saying <laughs> I don't I'm like women. Them. Maybe I am. That's <laughs> I, I'm starting to think every day they're just covering up. At this point, say, just admit it, man. We'll accept you. It's okay. I was gonna say, like, I think people are starting to clock onto that. Like, it's just there, there comes a point where you just have to admit to yourself, maybe you are the gay. Yeah. Like it's it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. You see everyone being happy about it. Like yeah, you'll you'll get support from family and friends. If not, bounce. Right. Exactly. That'd be fine. That'd be fine. How it goes? Then so... the, you, you can tell we're getting closer to that day when they all start realizing. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. They're, they're very much. They're, they're starting to make a point without realizing they're making points. Yeah. So, like, yeah. This is a. Man's got a case of the gay, like you got it real bad. No. <laughs> oh, it, it's really wild, but that's where we're at. So, um, then a rainbow will cover the planet, and a giant hand will come out the the North Pole. <laughs> uh, it sure will. It and then sure the Pope would be like, "See, I told you, like God hates the gays." No. Yeah. Uh. And we'll wow. all finally be eradicated, so we won't have to worry about it. <laughs> I like this continuity that's <laughs> happening here. Uh, well, I suppose that's brought us to the end of this show, everybody. Um, look at that. We got like, well, we intended to do five topics, but we got six in here. So got a little extra there. Wow. Yeah, we did, we did good. Um, yeah. Hopefully, there actually, there's probably going to be a lot of Star Wars news that we're going to cover on next week's show because it's a big Star Wars weekend this week. So, is it? You know, oh, yes. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. I had a moment there. See, I know because Jared texts me the shirt that he's going to be able to get at a convention he's going for that are, you know, the limited Star Wars ones. He's like, which ones do you want me to get you? I'm like, oh, God, I got to send you money for like, shirts now. Damn it. Wow. Wow. Uh, yeah. I, 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 I never heard of like back alley shirt deals before. I know. That's what it's all about now. Crazy. It's yeah. how we're washing dirty money. That's just what happens. <laughs> literally money laundry (laughs) we're doing this uh dc eu style where zack snyder's just like this movie costs 500 million dollars on what probably biblical artifacts um... i don't know (laughs) are they those like really like technically expensive like executive button-up shirts or something yeah yeah so only like 60 dollars ago and 70 so here's the thing and jared got me on to this because he has a problem right because of course he does. oh he does he well jared's had many a problem and or being one of them but yeah so like there's 70 dollar shirts but after you make your first one if you review it you get a 15 percent off coupon that can stack with some points that you make off a purchase Mm -hmm. so if you buy a few shirts in one round apply your coupon for 15 percent off and all the points each shirt by the end of it can come out to like 40 ish dollars something so if you play your play your cards right yeah, but you're having sales, to spend like 200 dollars yeah. on two shirts <laughs> to start yeah yeah so that's kind of the problem but yeah yeah it's, it this happened. is capitalism gone crazy right? um usa yeah, like, usa <laughs> like, I'm, like i'm looking on it right like right now and like they're doing restocks of the most popular ones because oh yeah the ones that aren't popular you can buy them right now <laughs> all i know is that the the last time because they did a gi joe and transformers run jared just texted me r.i.p and i knew what was gonna happen <laughs> and oh it was bad it was bad oh, uh, that's funny and of course, now they do women's. So the wife is like, "Well, you got to get me one." I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "Tell her to get it herself." Exactly. Why do I got to get this for you? <laughs> but if I get you one, that's one less for me. Like, don't exactly. Exactly. This is this is just crazy. Seventy dollars for a polo shirt. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Nerds with disposable income are such an easy gig, right? Yup. <laughs> I just speak follow from Armin's one. Instagram like every day. It's like, like you live in a storage unit, don't you? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> it's it's how it goes. That's literally all the nerds I know. Everybody in the con scene, all of our like homes are just like. So we got action figures everywhere. <laughs> like you turn. I'd be house scared into... of actually walking around, like physically <laughs> breathing and moving. I'd be terrified. It's because, like, from what it sounds like, it's like you turned in the whole entire house into uh, a case. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
Uh, well, everybody, um, that's brought us to the end of the show. You got like, I don't know, 55 minutes worth. Yeah, that's so yeah. Hopefully it's worth the price of free admission or whatever ads YouTube attaches to this whenever they attach it to, because it's just all automated. I don't even click it, so I don't know. Yeah, it'll but, be um, the uh, skip it ad to skip right into the next ad that you can't skip. Perfect. Is that how that's they do me. it? I don't know. I have like YouTube Red or whatever. That's how so they're I never doing it ads. now, yeah. I honestly wow. thought I'd missed the button and it just carried on playing the first time it happened. I was like, oh, great. YouTube ads are broken. Oh. And then you just find out, like, no, that's just a new, a new like, ad system there. Right. No joke. The most beneficial monthly subscription I have is YouTube because it skips all the ads and I get YouTube music and there's so much music on there. It's, it's all I, I use. used to. I, I watch a lot of YouTube on the TV. That's uh -huh. the TV app, right? And um, I never used to get ads. Like ever, mm -hmm. like for years, no ad, ad was ever playing. I was like, I gained the system, right? Uh, I'm not paying for YouTube. I, I'm I'm not using an ad blocker. I, I just I'm just watching a video. It would never happen. And then one day, I think they cottoned on to the app not getting the ads. Oh, uh, now you get all the ads. It's just like, oh, uh, that's yep, yep. You got screwed. They got like, you. I I don't have a problem with the ads, right? You know, it, it pays the people that I'm watching and all that. Right? Sort of yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Like, I've I've never. Had it like if I don't care about a channel, then yeah, ad blocker goes up. But but outside of that, like I'll, I'll wait five seconds to skip. Mm -hmm. When you got to wait five seconds to skip, and you then go into a thirty second ad, I'm gonna have a problem. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're starting to get to me. <laughs> yep. Well, um, anybody that keeps the ads, that clicks on, that supports any of our channels and whatnot, it does help out. So I, I suppose thank you for sitting through it or getting through it or listening to them, whatever, because obviously Surviving that's how, yeah, that, that's how it works. So hopefully this podcast, wherever they inserted the ads, you sat through them and enjoyed the hour or so worth of content we gave you. So um we will be back next week. It might be a little bit of a longer show because we're probably going to have all the Star Wars stuff and then Marvel stuff as well and probably yeah, something I assume dumb. Star Wars, you're going to get Jared on as well. I'll try. Yeah, that'll be the goal. That'll be the goal. And then I'm assuming, I'm just going to assume there's probably going to be something dumb that Zack Snyder or David Zaslav <laughs> does because because literally the upfronts are coming in like a week and a half. They just announced it and something dumb is going to be said from both of them. So we're going to have to cover that. So. Did you uh, did you see the percentage of Rebel Moon Part 2 that's in slow-mo? Oh, hit me with it. It's 20%. Nearly of the a entire of this movie is slow. <laughs> How? Oh, it's like nearly three hours long, and it's twenty percent of it. We just small, little minds, Mitch. Little minds. That's what we <laughs> I, are. I okay? really, I, I don't want to watch it, but I really want to watch it just I'm... to see. Like, if it's apparently worse than the first one, I, I, I don't hate watch stuff, but. Uh huh curiosity might actually take me out on this one I, the I first the 30 minutes i got into rebel moon one where i waited for two edibles to kick in might have been the greatest <laughs> 20 minutes of a Zack snyder film before i couldn't handle it's the room crazy. shaking anymore and i was just like i need to go to bed so that's all i know I, I, i'm impressed that snyder actually was allowed to use footage of anthony hopkins from that transformers movie because <laughs> it's the same performance uh, <laughs> just this time he's actually a robot uh, it's the oh. only difference oh yeah I also well, want to see the soul blades whatever they're called the soul savers the hell are you talking about this all that's sounds make-believe that's, that's what his lightsabers are called oh really it's something like yeah it's like soul uh, or oracle blade or something like that hmm. it's like it's just a smoke gun with a light in it like what are you talking about <laughs> What's an oracle yeah. about that? <sighs> Wild. Anyway, yeah. All right. Well, I'll take your word for it, everybody. Mm -hmm. Take Mitch's word for it. Go follow everybody here on our channels and pages and whatever. Like, subscribe, smash that whatever button. Um, I say, if you click the share button and click the copy link button, it pushes it into the algorithm. It's completely yeah. free. Uh, oh, there you go. Well, now you know, and knowing is most of the battle. So, um, yeah, have a good one, everybody.